Hello everybody, I'm Neb Track uh, on the forums and I decided I was going to make a video rather than trying to take a bunch of pictures of my 100 hours finds on the e-tracks. Uh, it'll be a two part video. Second part will be of course the the junk. So let's just take a look real quick. I'm sorry I'm shaking but uh, I'm going to have to hold this by hand but there's the program that I use for most of my deal and I think that's Andy Sabish's old coin program. So I could stand to be corrected, but I believe that that's what that is. Uh, the menu there, uh, run sensitivity, almost always auto plus three. Threshold level is at 19. Volume limit's 28. Or no, excuse me, I run the volume limit down uh, about 12 because my headphones have uh, don't have the, the limit control or the knobs on them. Volume gain's 26 though, response is normal. Uh, tone ID. Multi-tones, conduct, sounds, variability 29, limits 29. Um, recovery deep on, recovery fast off, uh, trash density high, and the ground neutral most of the time unless it drops down in the teens. You always want a noise cancel. Um, I think I failed to mention on the audio my threshold pitch I have it at a 20 and that's just a personal preference so anyway that's uh, enough of looking at the e-track I really like it I think so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the finds and uh, first off I'm going to show you what I found with the Xterra 305 there's a Tootsie car um, there's a lighter if anybody can translate that I'd appreciate it but this is a Zippo Zippo lighter and uh, Play Money, my first Buffalo nickel, 1916, my first silver, 1943P, and 42 Mercury. And then, of course, my two wedding rings. The one on the left is one I lost about 15 years ago. And the one on the right is the same pattern. We got to replace it. You can read about that story. But those are the finds that I made with the Xterra. And uh, so let's go and take a look and see what the E-Track has found for me. That's about 50 hours with the Xterra. 1896 Barber, uh, 1902 Barber, 1905, and the Standing Liberty. The 1896 Barber and the Standing Liberty, I actually got those on video, and I hope you'll be able to to uh, watch that later on. Um, two Barber Dimes, and I think six Mercuries. 1916, I wish that was a D, but it's not. 1917's 23. 34 and a 42. Most of them are in pretty decent shape. Uh, probably one of the best, to, believe it or not, it's probably that 1916. So anyway, the Indians, um, that's my oldest coin right there in 1887 Indian. I found that, believe it or not, two and a half inches down somebody's yard um, in 1899. Uh, 1901. Our coins don't come out looking too bad. 1903. In this, uh, we're pretty sandy here, so they don't come out looking too bad. 1906 sevens, three 1907s, and that was my very first one that I found, and it's in really good shape. Uh, railroad wheats, wheat pennies had been run over by a railroad train. Uh, one token says good for one package of mints. And they call it a Maverick token. I don't. They don't know who quite made them. Uh, v nickels. I I really like finding nickels. Um, these are both of these are 1899s. Uh, 1904, 1907, a 1911, and a 19, excuse me, 1911 there, and a 1912. And I got the 1912 on video. So two buffaloes, 1920, 21. And the Jeffersons, uh, some of the older ones, a 40D and a 41D and a 57D. Two uh, silver sterling rings. Found them in the same day on the same place. So you never know. Uh, buttons, kind of unique buttons there. Very quickly through the wheats there. I've got a 1909, but it's just a plane. And no initials on the back there. 1910. 1910s, 1911, 1912, 1913d, and a 1914. 
I'll go back up to 1916 1917, three 1917s, and three 1918s. You know you're in a good area when you can find those types of coins. Uh, wheats are a good signal. Um, three 1919s, and I believe one of them I caught on video, on edge, and that was kind of fun. Uh, plan on doing more of that. Uh, 1919s. 1920D, 1920S, 1922D, 1925, very quickly I know, 1927, uh, 1928D, three 1929Ds, I really appreciate the guys that take the effort to film their finds and also to take pictures of it and tell the story, I think that's really neat, uh, 1945, 45S, and a 57D. Costume jewelry, very quickly. That was a pin that I found. Um, more costume jewelry. This Brett, uh, I got that on video. So that's pretty neat. Next thing I'm going to show you is probably one of my favorite things that I have found. And it is a Coolidge, oops, sorry, Coolidge and Dawes campaign thimble from 1924. And it was in really 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 good shape usually you see them they're smashed I didn't know what this was my wife had to explain it to me that she probably thought that was a, a garter belt um, the compacts yeah uh, there's a vividu ladies compact and uh, another plain Jane one and one that says Bonacilla on it uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is I wouldn't have known what it was except for the forums but it is a three Merry Widows condom. Agnes, Mabel, and Becky condom container. Now, I think they were from the 1890s to the 1930s. Um, just some more unique finds, but uh, this is kind of a greaser, I was told, maybe. It's threaded on the inside. Um, this is a bracelet that I had found. That was my first find with the Utrecht. And a brooch. And I, I kind of think this might be silver. And it's, uh, there's where the latch went. It's broke off, of course, but uh, fitted in, fit in there. This kind of a unique find. I don't know for sure what this is. Um, it says Eureka on it. But I'm just not for sure. I think it's probably brass. But I don't, I haven't, don't know for sure. This is either a watch bezel or a, uh, these ears could have bent back for a necklace or a, something like that. But uh, I just don't, I don't know for sure, but it was a, it was a unique find. And uh, I gunsmithed for 10 years, and this to me just says gunsmithing, but it's not a trigger guard because you don't have a place for the trigger to come down through. But it's threaded there, broke off of course. It's pretty heavy. Um, so, if anybody has an idea, if I had to say anything, it would be almost like on a, but it's not a lever, see, because it, it wouldn't hinge unless the piece that this threaded into hinged. So, it could have went for the back fingers like on a, on a uh, single shot rifle or something. I just don't know. If anybody has any idea, I'd appreciate it them telling me so we're going to stop the video there and uh, those are have my fines increased there's 50 hours on the xterra and 100 hours on the e-track so i would say most definitely and we'll do the other video that shows you the trash and i'll explain some more on that thank you very much uh, for all you guys support uh and advice I appreciate it and uh, we're gonna stop this here and talk some more about what we're gonna plan on doing in the future thank you